today we're going to hook up a swan on the end catheter. We'll start out with our pressure tubing. Make sure you have two pressure cables, one for your PA port and one for your CV P port. You'll also need a pressure cable adapter. This end will plug into the actual brick and these two ports will allow you to attach your pressure cables for the PA pressure and the CVP. We'll go ahead and attach this into the space labs brick. And next we have our PA set up over there with our transducer center pressure bag. When you're doing a swan, you're going to need to get a two transducer, two line package, not just the single transducer, single line like we would use for A lines. And it should have a red extension and a blue. This will be for your CVP, and this one will be for your PA. So, just like any pressure system, you're going to need a pressure bag, a bag of saline. You're going to need to plug that in, and you are going to want to prime both of these tubings okay. so that you don't get any air in them. Turn them on for the patient and then and pull the pigtail to flush them. Once you've primed both of these, you want to make sure you keep the ends sterile. And you'll notice that on your tubings, you have two white hookup cables that you're going to use to attach to your pressure cables for the Space Lab monitor. Doesn't matter which cable goes where. I broke the pressure cable. That one goes there. So now you are all connected, and at this point, you should see some sort of change in your space lab monitor to indicate that you have an A line and a CVP. You will need to change these labels under select label and change that to PA, and your CVP should come up automatically. At this point, you are going to want to zero both transducers by turning the stopcock off to the patient and open to air selecting each one and zeroing it, and you'll be zeroed and ready to go. After you zero your transducers, you're going to need to hook up your cardiac output monitoring as well. This comes from a package in the supply room that says thermoset, and you'll need one of these. This is what it looks like out of the package. You'll also need a bag of D5, and this is what we use to inject for cardiac output measurements. So, in the same way you primed your other tubing, you are going to hook this one up to the proximal line, or the CVP line, like so. And make sure all your connections are tight. After you connect your cardiac output tubing to your proximal tubing, you are going to need to connect the cardiac output cables to the tubing so that you can obtain those measurements in space labs as well. And Tammy will show us the cables for that. It has the pink end for the cardiac output, and that comes separate. And you'll have to get the the whole setup, the whole setup for that cardiac output, it should have two bifurcated little cables on the end that'll hook up to the cardiac output. So we can hook that up to the cardiac output on the brick. So it'll go into the pink slot over here. You are going to take the red thermistor cable and attach it here on the cardiac output tubing and snap it into place. So now that you have all of your cables and your transducers hooked up, you're ready to connect things to the swan for insertion. You should also check and make sure on your space lab monitor um, that you have all of the correct um, height and weight measurements in as well as the computation constant which is 0 .608 for space labs so make sure this is already entered before you get ready to hook it up to that patient.
Kimmy's going to go over the swan. So we have our swan. The doctors put the swan in the patient. So we need to, he will have you, or he may let you do it, connect your CVP and your PA ports. So you connect your CVP to the CVP with your cardiac blue. output set up, blue to blue. Blue to blue. And then next we'll connect the PA port. And that's going to be the red one. So the CVP always has the cardiac output. You should have nothing going to the PA port. You're never going to inject any fluids, medications, or anything into the PA port. You can add a stopcock um, to the proximal slash CVP port and infuse fluids if you need another outlet. You're also going to want to connect the cardiac output cable at this point. This was the other bifurcated end of that cardiac output cable. And that just screws into place. The only other remaining port you have is your balloon inflation port and this is what you're going to use to obtain your wedge pressures. Um, you want to make sure that the balloon is not inflated before insertion and the physician should test the balloon before he puts it in. Um, and after it is in, you're going to want to make sure that it is deflated and that this arrow is broken so that there's no chance of accidental inflation. And that's how you set up for a Swan Gans catheter insertion.